Hello, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes from Paul's Trip to the Movies, here with my review of Won't You Be My Neighbor? And I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best movies I've seen all year, and may just be one of the best documentaries you'll see all year as well. This is the new documentary from Morgan Neville. He's the Oscar-winning director of 20 Feet from Stardom, and takes a look at the life and career of Fred Rogers. You may have grown up watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, much like I did, and this documentary really explores who he was behind the scenes, and how he brought Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood to, to television. He was a minister who was fascinated with television, but was kind of frustrated with the children's programming that was out at the time. He really wanted to educate children and bring um, programming that talked about issues and how to really reach children about different emotions that they're having. I have to tell you, I was moved. I was in love with this movie. I really got to know Fred Rogers from a different angle than what I remember him as a kid. And he really was ahead of his time as as we see. It started in February 19, 1968 and ran through August 31st, 2001. And he really tackled hot button issues. As we see early on in the documentary, he talked about the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy through Daniel Tiger, which I think is something daring that you don't often see on television anymore. And he talked about issues like racism and diversity and how to bring everyone together when you believed in different things. As we see throughout the documentary, he we get to see interviews with his wife, his sons, and a lot of the actors that were on his show, like Francois Clemens, who played Officer Clemens, and David Newell, who was Mr. McFeely. I'm sure we all remember Mr. McFeely. And it's such a positive reminder of what he was like. The, of course, it's not all ups and highs, we got to see the inner demons that Fred Rogers faced as well. He was often plagued with this idea of this fear that he wasn't good enough, that his show didn't have a big enough impact, and he really wanted to fight that and show that what he was doing was right for children. It This documentary really is this reminder of that Fred wanted unity. I think right now you realize why this is released right now. We're living in a very divisive time, and I think this movie really teaches people, hopefully, about unity and loving oneself. How he wanted to bring people together and show ev that everyone deserves to be loved and respected no matter what you believed in. And you really got that in this documentary. Um, the tone of the movie is very soft, it's very gentle, it's peaceful, much like Fred Rogers was. I walked away with it with this newfound appreciation for him. I want to go back and watch all the old Mr. Rogers Neighborhood episodes to see how pioneering he was. I really recommend you go see this movie. It's Won't You Be My Neighbor, Bring a Tissue. I sat with a bunch of guy friends the other night and we were all crying so hard after the movie because it just leaves you with so much peace and hope and love for those that have passed before us, those that are in our lives right now. Go see it. It is in wide release right now. You won't regret it. You will just come away feeling all good inside. Thanks for listening to my review. Please click subscribe on my YouTube channel for more reviews, interviews with celebrities. Check back in for more reviews and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. Don't forget to go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com for all sorts of movie related news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.